Jefferson made it difficult, but got it to go. She was wide open for just a second, and then she took it in closer. What a first half for Mariah Jefferson. Plum. Some of the shots that she makes, I just go, how did that happen? The outside jumper has not been falling for Plum. Two of eight shooting, but she's got five points. Oh, give and go, keep on going. That was Milic, though, comes up short. Under a minute left in the first half. And the Aces were trying to cut into that deficit a little bit more. That one won't go. Seven made threes for the Lynx this first half. Just three for the Aces, a team that averages nine per game. And Mariah Jefferson has been the difference maker. Uh oh, point guard is forcing the issue for the Lynx. Can you believe the Dallas Wings let her go? <laughs> I cannot believe it. And a big plus for Minnesota. Three of four behind the arc for Jefferson. She's got 15. Clock down to three. This half winding down, Gray in and out. And frustration with herself and the way this half ends. Minnesota has come in. They're searching to end that four games to them. You know, these, these athletes were able to watch those athletes do something that they didn't even know was maybe possible, Carolyn. Absolutely, when they win and watching this Aces team interact with the 1996 team. You could tell how inspired they were and hearing the stories and also listening to Billie Jean King and talking about Title IX and how to continue the progress. Kelsey Kwan said she remembers one thing that Billie Jean King said is sometimes you've got to sacrifice to make a difference and you may not see the impact immediately. It may be long term, but sometimes what Paul Abdul said, might take one step forward and then two steps back, <laughs> but you can make progress. I love how you can weave in Billie Jean King and Paula Abdul <laughs> in the same reference. I think that's spectacular. And I'm with you on that. And boy, out of the timeout, the hot hands continue for Minnesota. Nicholas has had a major impact. Her scoring ability, and she doesn't get rattled. You have Asia Wilson running at you. And she just very calmly knocks down a three. The rookie, who's part of the Serbian national team, has looked aggressive. She's gotten the starting nod, and she's taken advantage as Kelsey Plum continues to take it inside. This game's been flip-flop from what it's been typically on the season for these two teams. Well, that's what Kelsey Plum did against Dallas. She established herself attacking the basket, and then her shots started to come back to her. Yep, that's what you got to do. Just find a way to score. They've gotten to the free throw line. They've been able to take it inside and get some points in the paint as that one's just flat. And Jackie Young took a shot to the face. She's slow to get back. Dantas, nobody out on her. Break for the aces. She can hit that. Dantas has already hit one three today. Gray, nobody stepped up in time. And Chelsea Gray, she's the only ace in double figures. She's got 13. Here's the thing that's been to the advantage of both of these teams. When your point guard is aggressive and looking to score, good things happen for your offense. When Chelsea Gray does that for the aces, that's what happens as well. Powers tried the ball fake. Chelsea Gray with the slot and the takeaway. Plum out running and one. Oh, plays like that will get you pumped up. First the defense by Chelsea Gray, and then you get the ball to Kelsey Plum. She's out and running in house. She really severed in front of the defense, using her body, protecting the basketball, get the finish, and the foul. So some defense creating some offense, and it starts with the point guard. Chelsea Gray cutting into that deficit here in the third. news and stories on the Las Vegas Aces, check out our social media site at LB Aces. Sylvia Fowles, that beautiful smile on her face, but she's having to watch. She was celebrated prior to the game. There's Nikki Vargas, the president of the Aces, and Natalie Williams, the general manager, getting a little love from the Aces. Well, and they're, they're gifting to Sylvia was very thought, put thought forward. 
she got flowers. They also gave her a knitting kit because that is a uh, hobby of Sylvia Fowles. They also gave her yarn from a black owned business out of Balt Baltimore and put all that together for Sylvia Fowles. Yeah, that is special. And you can tell she was really uh, surprised and, and just so happy prior to that to receive those gifts. And we sure love the gift she's given to the game of basketball. And we certainly hope she can make her way back as Ryan Jefferson maybe tweaked the ankle a little bit on that play. And a takeaway by Hamby. Hand in the passing lane, and Young gets it out to her. Oh, almost a fast break opportunity, and it was stopped. It's a good time out by the Aces coming out. Defense trying to create offense. Active hands in passing lanes, not just guarding a position, not just being reactive, but more dictating defensively that last possession by the Las Vegas Aces. Yeah, Hamby getting the hand out. And getting the steal. And then Jackie Young took off running. Wilson in the high post. Guarded by Dantas and trying to get through the screen with powers to stay with Young but can't. And a 9 for the Las Vegas Aces. Within five now. Down by 11 at the break. Crowd getting loud. Shot clock down to five. And stopping the leg. And Asia Wilson says, my hands were straight out. Oh, and this crowd getting even louder. Now, Asia, yes, initially when she jumped up, principle of verticality, but when you bring your arms down and they break the plane, that's when the official is going to call you for the foul. Yep, I'm with you on that. And right at the very end, brought it down. Becky Hammond, these fans, not in agreement. Uh, Sheffield will go to the free throw line as the clock is winding down, gets the first to go. Yeah, Asia has been so good at getting blocks that way of just staying vertical just at the end from the shoulders her arms broke the plane and that's why they called it for the foul yeah, it's rare to see her do that because she has the timing down with the blocking game but the free throw is good for shepherd that's eight points for her off the bench wilson out behind the yard Exactly what happened. She wanted that three. She's like, give me my points back. <laughs> Her first three of the game. McBride. Just a soft touch. Kayla McBride. Oh, Hammy, give and go. The pick and roll, and Hammy sticks it. Yeah, Becky Hammond told us with the pros in the game, there much talent in the league now. Trying to guard someone one on one is pretty difficult. Yep, you can't do it. Powers, nobody on her, and misses it. And from behind, Dantas with an O board. Right. Jackie Young all over her. Shot clock down to five. Miss Bride tosses it in the lane. It's Powers and a shot clock violation. And defense. Get it done for the Aces. After Asia Wilson was called for that three, she gets a screen from Kelsey Plum and knocks it down. And then Plum dropping dimes to De'Erica Hamby. This is how the Aces get themselves when they find themselves down, get back into a ball game. Yep, they pick up that scrappy meter a little bit. They get up, they get it up just a little bit higher. Wait, did you say a scrappy meter? <laughs> I, I think, love it. I think Becky Hammond must have the scrappy meter. That's it. She must have it. And they 